Holy Week travelers continue to arrive and leave through the country's main airport. Our Rex Ramitio reports on the phone from Naia Terminal 2. Rex, what's the situation there so far? Well, it's a weekend and the Holy Week is about to start. So what would you expect? Long lines of travelers starting from the entrance of terminals just like here in Terminal 2. Uh, as you can see, uh, these lines cannot be seen during normal days. This goes up to check-in counters where most passengers spend most of their time here at the airport. This also causes the longer lines at immigration counters. Immigration spokesperson Antonet Mangrobang tells me 20 out of 113 officers are absent today. She refuses, however, to respond when I ask whether this will affect the operations at the immigration counters. But Port Operations Division Chief Res Marinas tells me additional personnel from the main office are now here to serve the passengers. Their services are not affected by the issues at the immigration regarding the salary of officers. You may say the peak, peak season is generating these long lines, which is normal during these times of the year. So if you're going to fly today and in the following days, you're advised to arrive here four to five hours before your flight. Back to you. Rex, what is the status of about 388 PAL passengers stranded in Saudi Arabia? The hundreds of Philippine Airlines passengers stranded in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Friday have arrived at 10.42 a.m. PAL flight CR655 got stranded in Riyadh due to engine problems, uh, but the flag carrier provided hotel accommodations and other necessary assistance to the stranded passengers. Back to you. Thank you, Rex Remitio. They're reporting to us from...